Good Chodesh, Good Chodesh Nisan. Continuing with this series of the secrets behind the veil of existence. We were talking about reincarnations. There are other relationships between the Shama's souls, which are very deep and very powerful and in, in, uh, affect us very strongly, but even though it's in the back of our minds, in, the, in the, all those layers that we don't really they feel directly. They exist there. They affect us, but we don't really feel them directly. It's called Ibu. Imbuing a soul with a tzaddik, you know, a righteous person's soul, comes in and affects that person for the better. Or, unfortunately, if the person draws himself down to the wrong places, then the neshama that comes in is not exactly the best, to say the least. What's the idea? We have a practical example. In the story, there's a history of Pinchas, the son of Elazar, the son of Aaron Akoin, grandson of Aaron Akoin, who was not, beca- not become a coin right when his father and his, his grandfather and his, un- his father and his uncles became Kohanim. It only happened when he sacrificed and they took him in, gave over his soul in order to. <clears throat> Save the Jewish people from a terrible plague that resulted as a result of behaving inappropriately in the sexual manner with the daughters of Moab. Ben has killed Zimri, the head of the tribe of Shimon, from which were most of the sinners, and had a lot of miracles. But the most important thing that was, he was given the ability to be a coin and actually a coin gadol after his father. And all the proper Kohanim Dolim are forevermore his, have to be his descendants. How is that possible? The story before was of the sons of Aaron, a coin, the older ones, Nadav and Avihu, who did something they shouldn't have. There's all kinds of opinions. They were so great. They were greater than Moshe and Aaron, but they died. The Neshamas left their bodies and so on. What Penchas merited, and that's called Ibur, is their souls were imbued in his soul. And particularly says Nadav was the heir, and he was the greatest person of that generation, was supposed to be coined God of the Aaron, his father, his soul, and of his soul, entered in a residential manner, not completely changing the Neshama, but affecting it to become so high that Pinchas became the coin gadol, the high priest, after his uncles. That is possible. And that happens to people sometimes.